to Son, Visayas at Mindanao. Filipinas, good afternoon as we continue the live telecast of the NCAA brought to you by ABS-CBN Sports in Action, Balls HD 167, para naman sa ating mga kababayan watching around the world, the Filipino channel, live streaming on TFC.TV. Sa ating unang laro ay nanaig nga ang San Beda Red Lions contra Mapua Cardinals with a score of 75 to 65. Para sa ating pangalawang laro, maghaharap ang JRU Heavy Bombers contra Perpetual Altas. Third and final game, Letra Knights, the number one team versus the bus driver, the Arellano Chiefs. Boom, labrus ka po ang inyong lingkod. September 25, 2015, together with my partner, makakasama ko today, Coach Alan Gregorio. Coach? Magandang hapon sa iyo, Boom, at magandang hapon sa lahat ng basketball fans. Hindi lang NCAA, ha? Ang sinasabi natin dito, marami nag-aabang itong araw na to. Bakit? Tatlong solid na laro ang ilalaro natin dito. At ngayon, nasa pangalawang laro pa lamang tayo. Sabi nga nila, Coach, it's Kagulo Friday for the NCAA. Top 6 teams ang maglalaro ngayong araw na ito. Inumpisa niya ng San Beda at Mapua ngayon naman susundan ng JRU at Perpetual Alta. San ba lumalapag ang ating dalawang kapunan, Ito, Coach focus AD. natin ang ating attention. Perpetual Alta, 11 wins and 4 losses. When they win today, they will be tied with San Beda Red Lions at 12 wins and 4 losses. JRU knocking at the door para sa Final Four. They're now at 9 wins and 6 losses. Dahil natalo ang Mapua kanina after this ball game, if they win, they will be tied with Mapua at number 5 with also 10 wins and 6 losses. Ga gaano ka-importante itong laro na to para sa JRU? Sila'y kumakatok, not for the final two spots, but a big chance for them to enter, enter the Final Four. Kumakatok nga itong JRU Heavy Bombers sa pagkatalo ng Mapua Cardinals kaninang ating first game. August 18, 2015, nung unang nagkaharap, itong JRU at Perpetual Altas. Coach AG, ano ba ang nangyari sa larong yan? Well, that game was in overtime. Nap napanood natin yun. Solid talaga. JRU had a chance of winning that ball game. Pero ang nangyari doon, alam mo, there were six deadlocks, 14 lead changes, pero si Bright Aquetti, he had 31 points and 12 rebounds. For JRU naman, Tay Teodora, 28 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. Classic ball game. Hanggang sa dulo, hindi natin alam kung talaga sino mananalo doon sa unang kanilang uh, pagsasalbukan. Nabanggit mo kanina, Tay Teodoro. Kaya pag-usapan natin itong panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers. First round natin, itong pangalang Tay Teodoro ay pumutok sa ating liga. Ngunit pagpasok nitong ating second round, it was Paolo Pontejos and John Grospe. Well, these are solid numbers. Yan ang talaga makikita natin dito. No? Paolo Pontejos, nung, uh, they had 45 out of the 86 points against Letran. Look at this number. 21 points para kay Pontejos, 13 naman para kay John Grosse. Pero ang uh, talaga nakikita natin dyan, hindi nila pinipilit yung kanilang mga tira. 8 out of 13 for number 5, Paolo. At saka 5 out of 9 naman para kay John Grosse. So that's just basketball efficiency para sa laro na yun, uh, boom. The bench of the... JRU Heavy Bombers really stepping up para dito kay Coach Brehel Meneses. Ngayon naman ay tumako tayo sa panic ng Perpetual Health Altas. When you talk about the Perpetual Health Altas, one name, Earl the Pearl Scotty Thompson. Coach AG, pitong triple-double sa ating liga. Well, I don't know if you don't call that talent. I don't know if you call that basketball smarts. Basta para sa akin, isa talaga to sa magig magiging produkto ng Philippine basketball. You're talking about 10 points, 14 rebounds, 13 assists in that game against Emilio Aguinaldo College. Pero ilang beses niya na nagawa itong triple-double. Just like what you said, pitong beses sa loob ng 11 games, you're, you're, you're talking of uh, really somebody who can play the game called basketball. That's why Earl the Pearl is called the seventh heaven. Ngayon naman, bago natin umpisa ng ating laro, ay puntahan muna natin ang ating isa pang kasama na makakasama mag-ahatid sa inyo ng ulat sa loob at labas ng ating hard court. Walang iba kung di si Siege Tantenko. Siege? Yes, magandang hapon po, my Coach Alan. Ngayong nag-iinit na nga ang laban natin para sa Final Four. Higit pang nagiging mahalagang support ng pinapakita ng ating NCAA fans para sa kanilang paborito ko panan. Kaya naman mga kapamilya, punin nyo na ang inyong mga cellphone buksan ng Twitter at Instagram at sagutin ang tanong na ito. Aling school ang champion sa fighting spirit? Gamitin natin hashtag NCAAC sa 91 at kung sa palagay nyo magpapakawala ng bomba ang JRU, 
gamitin natin hashtag GalingJRU. Pero kung sa palagay niyo naman, mananaig ang Altas, hashtag GalingPerpetual. May kita niyo naman na ating school standings live and in real time on our website, sports.abs-cbn.com. Itaan niyo na rin kami kung meron kayo mga katanungan. Boom! Ano nga ba yung Instagram mo? Ah, yung IG ko, that is Boomy, B-O-O-M. E-E-Y. Coach AJ, ikaw, saan ka nila ipapalo? Well, my Twitter handle is uh, at Coach Alan G. Yeah. At ikaw naman, Sige Tantenko, kung may katanungan natin mga kapamilya, saan ka ba nila tatanungin? Meron akong Twitter, pati Instagram. It's at Sige Today. Pero alam nyo, hindi lang kami yung mga katweet nyo. Halos buong NCAA broadcast team namin online ngayon. Nagkukulitan kami kanina pang umaga. Kaya kung kagulo Friday ngayon, makigulo na kayo sa amin. Di ba, Boom? Coach Allen? Maraming salamat ka sa mong Siege Tantenko. Sa aming pagbabalik, ang banggaan ng JRU Heavy Bombers at Perpetual Altas. Dito lang yan sa NCAA Season 91. Ilabas ang galing. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Phil Oil Flying V Arena here in San Juan, we bring you the second of three matches this blockbuster holiday Friday in your Season 91 of the NCAA. Let us meet the starters, beginning with the JRU Heavy Bombers. Our forward number four, James Ospilia. Forward number 13, Jordan Delapaz. At center number nine, Abdullah Di Putucci. The off guard number 19, Darius Estrella. And at point guard number 14, Tay Tay Teodoro. And coach of the heavy bombers, Verhel Menaces. And now the starting five for the perpetual Hell Altar. Power forward number 11, Rick Gallardo. Forward number 14, Gat Dagangon. At center number 18, Tayo po ay nagbabalik sa loob ng San Juan Arena at maghaharap ngayon ang JRU Heavy Bombers contra Perpetual Altas. Coach AJ, ano napapansin mo sa ating uh, starters sa dalawang kupunan? Well, ang uh, may kita natin dito agad, ano, that yung kanilang mga, mga, mga star players agad, ang pinasok agad ng uh, parehong coaches. We did not expect actually si Akweti lang na mag-start because uh, most of the time you see teams sa SE pero pag sa ganitong bakbaka na you would want to really get the, the rhythm of uh, of uh, Prince Akweti of uh, Akweti uh, to start the ball game first possession panic ng uh, perpetual atas Katty Thompson dino double team kagad ng mga JRU heavy bombers uh, first shot that is strong rebound Patucci Coach AJ, if you are Coach Verhel Meneses, ang unang pagharap nyo ay lumamang ka. Tatlong puntos lang itong uh, Perpetual Altas. Anong adjustment coming into this game? Anong adjustment ang sasabihin mo para sa iyong kapunan? Well, you know, what's most important is uh, the kind of defense that JR usually known for. So, kung takit ng 86 points, magiging advantage to pa sa Perpetual. But something below 80, maybe, that's a 70. At saka yung hardcore pressing defense na ginagawa ng JRU, that's something that they can use in this ball game para hindi magkaroon ng magandang rhythm ang offense ng Perpetual. G, the best mga laban ngayon. Hashtag NCAA Season 91. Raven Tolentino. Okay, ganda ng standing pero mas gaganda yan. Nangunguna ang Perpetual. Hashtag galing Perpetual. Maraming salamat Raven Tolentino, Adi MBBs. Woo! Ayan na. JRU versus UPHSD. Let's go, Bombers. Let's go. Beat Perpetual. Wow. Talaga namang uh, nag enjoy ang ating mga kapamilya, mga sa, students. Sa Twitter pala, bakbaka na. Ha? Bakbaka na. Good, good sign for uh, the JRU Heavy Bombers dahil itong si Tay Chodoro ay nakakuha na ng unang puntos. At medium range jumper yung kanyang binanatang. Pasok agad. Matatawa ka ng traveling itong si Bright Aquete. Yes, Coach Ganda AJ. Ganda nung uh, offensive rebound na ginawa nito si uh, Mr. Brightman, si Bright Aquete. But double teaming effort right there and then. Parehong uh, itong si Earl Scotty Thompson at si Bright Aquete. Automatic double ang uh, pinapakita ng uh, kumpunan ng JRU. 
Lamang dito ang JRU Heavy Bombers. Dos puntos para sa Jose Rizal. Tete Chudoro susubok sa tres. Pasok niya. And he's got a total of five points already. 100% shooting here in the first two minutes para kay Tete Chudoro. Maganda yung ginawa niya, Coach AG. No? Pumukol muna siya sa medyo mas malapit. Tapos kinuha niya yung range niya. Pumukol naman siya ng tres sa pagkakataon na yun. Mukhang matatawagan ng foul. Itong taga JRU Heavy Bombers. Itong si Astilla. Christian James. Pero panoodin muna natin ang Master Guapo Move of the Quarter. Watch out for more Guapo Moves. Powered by Master. Sekreto ng mga Guapo. Simulang-simula pa lang yan, eh, no? Nagpapakita na agad. Itong si Tete Teodoro. Sabi natin, nung first round, it was an all Tete Teodoro show para sa JRU Heavy Bombers. But the numbers that's, uh, that's been shown by Grospe, itong si Paolo Pontejos, yun talaga nakakatulong sa kumpunan ni Coach Verhel Meneses. Munti ka naman wala ang bola para sa panic ng JRU. Pero balik ang bola sa kanila. Tingnan natin itong eksenang ito. Strong move of the game. Brought to you by PLDD Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Tete Chodoro patuloy kaya ang kanyang pag-iinit sa ating first quarter. Loose ball. Na-recover ng JRU. Down low. That is a block from right side of Quente. Ito si Brent Aquente talaga. You know that you're not gonna take that shot when he's there. Dapat siguro fumake muna ng bahagya. Pero ito, hindi rin nag-bumibitaw. Uh, sa ganda ng depensa ang JRU to start this ball game. Corner shot for the three. Too strong. Sino ba makakapulot ng rebound? Ito na si Earl the Pearl Thompson. Dumidiskarte. Pasa sa kanyang kakampi. Natapik. Babalik ang bola sa Perpetual Altas. A defensive match we're seeing here to start this ball game. Boom. Okay, Coach AG, bago yan, punta muna natin ang ating kasamang si Siege Tantengo. Siege? Yes, one game at a time. Siege niya na nga ang naging catchphrase itong si Coach Rahel Meneses. But it seems that this one game will be his most important yet. Paalala niya sa team, limit the touches that Scotty Thompson gets. Make him bleed for his points. Paalala rin niya with Paul Potels as a mark man. He expects everyone to step up. Ngayon pa man, sabi niya, enjoy the game pa rin. As long as you maintain your composure, kaya kaya na. Naman, ang perpetual altas para sa challenge ng JRU. Sabi ni Coach Lester Del Rosario, expected na namin na pahihirapan si Scotty. Marami naman tayong tao, lahat sila maganda at tayo, hindi ako kinakabahan. Paalala niya, iwasang makarating ang bola kay Tete at kay Paolo Montejos. Focus on offensive rebounds, pressure hard, box out hard. Simple lang pala motivation, we've been denied the twice speed advantage for the past two years. This year, pipili din namin makuha yan. Back to you, Maraming salamat kasamang Siege Tanteco. Alam mo, Coach AG, pag itong si Siege talaga ang kasama natin, marami tayong makukuhang report sa kanya. Gaya ng sinabi niya kanina, enjoy the game lang. And that's basketball, Coach AG. Exactly. They, alam mo, kaya nga laro to, eh, no? That's why it's a game. Dapat nag enjoy ka. There's so much pressure. Actually, parehong kumpunan. Maganda ang uh, inensayo. Yun ang sinasabi ng mga coaches. Pero yung composure, yun ang dapat natin makita going to the latter part of this ball game. Tay Chodoro nangunguna pero nawala ang bola. Recovered by Tay Chodoro. Nakaka pitong puntos na itong si Tay Chodoro para sa ating ball game. The fast play of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Ating talaan, tabla tayo. 7 JRU, 7 Perpetual. At magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. We are back live at it's inyo ng ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Kaina pa nga natin na pag-uusapang itong si Tete Chodoro. Look at these numbers, Coach AG. Well, against uh, Colejo de San Juan de Letran, 16 minutes, 9 points, 2 assists, and 5 turnovers. Yung kanyang previous games, almost 27 minutes, almost 17 points. Kaya may kita mo talaga, he really struggled against that game, against Colegio de San Juan de Letran. But, but not struggling dito sa ating first quarter, sa ating ball game, dahil siya ay nakakakuha na ng pitong putos. Right a 20, one on one. You wouldn't want that, pero at that time, too strong. Lucky for Bright, nakuha ni Coronel. Driving strong is Coronel. Wala pa rin niya. Bright, Aquedi. Natapik ang bola para kay Coronel. Hiningi ni Thompson. Pinalik kay Aquedi. Aquedi, double team. And that is a foul. And that's gonna be the second foul on Astilla. Actually, siya yung talagang uh, nakatutok para dito kay Bright. 
Aqueti, there's double team. Magandang double team dito si uh, Abdel Potucci pero sumapit na nga. Ang uh, itong si uh, number 4 si Christian James Astilla. Designated defender for Bright Aqueti pero mukhang magpapalitan tayo ng tao dito dahil nakikita natin itong si Balagtas. Tinawag na ni Coach Arik Del Rosario. Unang free throw. Wala pa rin. Second free throw, wala pa rin yan. Para kay Bright Aqueti. Medyo alat dito sa ating ballgame. Sa first quarter, si Bright. 5-0-2. Nangangalati na tayo sa ating first quarter. Ating talaan, tabla, Tate Jodoro. Inside pass na agawan ni Dagangon. Tumatakbo ang apat na nakamaroon. Nice block. Another block. Tapi ka ng bola. Bola ngayon ng JRU. Tate Jodoro. Sumite step. Wala pa rin yan. Rebound kanino mapupunta ang bola. Gawad ng referee. Same ball daw para sa panig ng JRU. Heavy bombers. Parehong kuponan. Gustong tumakbo. Parehong kuponan. Gustong makascore ng mas maaga. But you know what both teams are doing? Yung kanilang transition defense. Boom. Very evident here in the first quarter. Nakita nga natin yung transition defense na ng JRU. At naka... Palpal, ito si Potucci, rebound, Aqueti, sumesenya si Thompson, give me the ball. Ano ba ang gagawin ni Thompson? Pull up, three! That is good! Alam mo, Coach AG, napansin namin yan sa arsenal nitong si Scotty Thompson. Hindi madalas tumira ng tres yan, pero nung kalaban niya, itong EAC, nakapuntos yan ng limang tres mula sa three-point area. Exactly, no? Habang wala pa doon yung double team, nagkaroon siya ng opportunity for an open three-point look. And here he is again. He would want to score early, get his game rhythm going. Pero mukhang magkakaroon tayo ng turnover dito. Some miscommunication on the part of Perpetua. At babalik ang bola sa kapunan ng JRU. In the meantime, that fast play of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Tayo nga ay nagpapalitan na ng tao. Napakaganda ng ating ball game. Kagulo Friday. Talaga namang Kagulo Friday. Tingnan nyo naman mga kapamilya. First game pa lang, jump back na tayo. Second game, look at this crowd, Coach AG. Alam mo, hindi ko nga alam kung saan ako paparada. Nung nakita ko nga uh, pumarada ko, dapat ipapatong ko na lang yung <laughs> kotse ko sa kotse mo eh. <laughs> nakita mo ba yung ginawa ko? Kung saan ako pumasok? <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko na nga sinasabi eh. <laughs> Paolo Contejos is in the ball game At unang tira, pasok agad yan para sa panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers. And I was just about to say that. Ano, nagkakaroon ng problema ang kuponan ng JRU dahil ang kan kanilang mga puntos ang gagawin. Galing lamang kay Tate Teodoro. Pero sa pagpasok ni uh, Paolo Contejos, there will be another Arsenal coming from the bench of Coach Ferrer Menezes. Fuego Altas, go Thompson. Good luck. Hi nga pala sa crush ko na nanonood. Sino ba yung crush mo? Meantime, ito muna si Paolo Contejos. Strongful of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Isang kamay lang. The beauty of the pump fake, ano? Para dito kay Paolo Pontejos. Copico 78, best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. Taking free throw, one of the tougher defenders para kay Coach Arik Del Rosario. Itong si Oliveria. Lubong tagi. Second free throw, Kevin. Layan, ating talaan. Lamang pa rin dito ang perpetual altas. Pero dalawang puntos lang naman yan. Gusto mo ba itong medyas ni Paolo Monteo? Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng medyas na yan? <laughs> Abdel Patucci, hindi pa tumitira sa ating ballgame. Narinig ako, tumira na nga siya. At pinanda pa. Parang tumingin siya kay Brent Aquetit na sinabi, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hindi, hindi ko sinasadya yan. Tumatrash talk pa. Tapi ka ng bola, Bright Aqueti, hindi pa rin nakakaputo sa ating ball game nito. Tumatakbo ang mga nakadilaw, back dribble, Contejos, tuloy-tuloy. Pero medyo napailalim ang kanyang tira. Luckily, nasa kanila ang bola ngayon, Abdel Patucci, susubok ulit against Bright Aqueti. Rebound, Oliveria. Ano ang mangyayari sa ating XL ng ito? Jump ball daw, kanino ba ang ball possession? Kaya naman babalik ang bola para sa panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers. We have a timeout on the floor. Ating talaan, JRU 11. Perpetual Health Altas 11. Magbabalik po tayo sa ating NCAA Season 91. 
Alam mo, Coach AJ, kanina naglaro yung San Beda at uh, Papua Cardinals. Punong-puno yung ating Coliseum. Alam mo mga ngayon eh, nagpalit na tayo ng tao. Bang na, klase, no? Tumalis na yung mga taga San Beda at ito, community ito ng uh, Perpetual at JRU Heavy Bomber. Dalawang, uh, da dalawang uh, ano to, dalawang uh, turnover ng, uh, ng, ng tao ang mangyayari dito from the first game to the second game, second game to the third game. So ang uh, parking, para sa mga taong mapunta dito, mapapansin nila yung mga parking actually nasa kalya na, no? Dahil pinayagan na rin ng San Juan na magkaroon ng, ng ganong parking. Ilalagay lang nila sa, sa may gilid ang mga sasakyan. Yun talaga mangyayari dito. Buti na lang, walang pasok. Yun, because it's a holiday. Yung ating mga kapatid na Muslim, no? Dahil holiday ngayon, of course, si Abdel Patucci, si Mesedes ito si Mickey. Bola ng Perpetual Altas. Earl the Pearl, titira ba ulit ng tres? Hindi makalusot sa depensa ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Naubusan na nga ng shot clock. Ito yung Perpetual Altas. Exactly. You know, I like how Jordan De La Paz defended against uh, Earl Scotty Thompson. Knowing na kanan ang uh, pagtira nitong si Scotty Thompson. Ang nakataas na kamay sa kanya, kaliwa. No, so walang adjustment. Mas patangkat siya kay Earl Scotty Thompson ni hindi makatira for that instance itong si Earl Scotty Thompson. Spoken like a true coach is Coach AG. Of course, uh, pag-coach ka, alam na alam mo yan. You have to know yung strong side ng pinabantayan mo. Well, I'm, I'm sure, Boom, no? a lot of scouting reports is being uh, shown by, by the uh, scouting coaches. Both scouting coaches, talagang nagtrabaho yan individually at alam nila dapat kung saan ang strong points sa mga kalaban. And that is what, what's happening now. A minute and 20 remaining. Kanya ang score natin, 11 all. Pahirapan ang opensa. Dizon with the ball. Pinabantay ni Tete Chudoro. Nakawala ang paigi. Lumay up. Napakagandang layup niya. Using the glass. He scored 11 points in their last game. He was the best player of the ball game. Tatlong three-point shot. At ngayon, makikita mo ang kumpiyansa nitong si Dizon. Nadadala dito sa laro na to. Ika nga. This is it by Dizon. Tumatakbo, Earl the Pearl with the ball. Nakakuha. Napakaganda, nakakuha pa siya ng foul. Nakita mo yung galaw na yun, Coach he AJ? Faked, he faked the jump shot, used an extra dribble, tapos even even the siwas sa ere. Buti sana kumadali. Kalaban si Potucci. Kahit ako na, patigil magsalita. <laughs> Ang ganda nung kanyang hesitation, no, Coach AJ, at that time, no? Too bad that hindi niya nakompleto ang end one play. Earl the Pearl, free throw line. Tingnan natin kung papasok ang kanyang unang free throw. So, hindi ako naniniwala na Ginny Jinx ng atin, mga commentator pag nag-free throw ang isang player. <laughs> Nakita mo pumasok, coach. Tingnan natin kung ano ang uh, second free throw. And I'm sure if there's somebody who's really watching this ball game, okay. ito si Coach Olsen Rasela. I'm sure sinascout niya kung ano tutong kakayahan nitong si uh, Earl Scotty Thompson. And yung kanyang teammate na si L.A. Tenorio, kasama namin kagabi, Coach A.G. Nag-taping kami ng deal or no deal. Sabi niya, magaling ba itong si Scotty Thompson? Sinagot ko si L.A. Nakakapitong triple-double pa lang naman si Earl the Bird. <laughs> Maraming salamat, L.A. Tenorio. Tumututok din yan sa ating ballgame. Ah, lagi, lagi, yes. lagi yan, lagi yan, lagi yan. 15 seconds sa shot clock ng Perpetual. Earl the Pearl, naghahanap ng kakampi. Easy is in the ballgame. Binalik sa kanyang kakampi. Matatawagan ng foul. Ito si Potucci against Oliveria. Pinopo on a smaller Oliveria. Pinopost yan si Potucci. Ha? Well, I don't really know why Potucci had to push out itong si Oliveria. But we can uh, see, look at that again on slow-mo. Hindi nagreklamo ang coaching staff ng JRU. Siguro kasama yan. No, focus na tayo, let's not focus on the calls of the referees. Pero mukhang naapektuhan itong si Abdel Putucci. Nilalabas muna siya ni Coach Pock, no? ni Coach Verhel Meneses. With 10 seconds remaining sa ating first quarter, ay nagbalasan ng tao, both coaches. Nandito na si Sadiwa, si Ilagan. Para naman sa panic ng uh, JRU Heavy Bombers, yung kanilang team captain, ay eh, pumasok na. Ating talaan, 16 contra 11. Lamang pa rin dito ang Perpetual Alta. So make that 17. That's going to be a lot of bonus para sa Perpetual. He's supposed to be a defensive player. Pero tatlong puntos na ang nice going niya dito sa first quarter. Sino ang tatapos ng first quarter? Parsak po na ng JRU, Paolo Conteos. 
Wishing for a foul, no? Itong si Paolo Conteos. Pero at that time, hindi siya ginawaran ng referee na kala nila eh foul at naitulak itong si Paolo Conteos. Ating talaan, lamang dito ang perpetual health out as 17 contra 11. Nakikita natin ang ating mga eksena. Itong si Tete Chodoro, napakainit sa ating first quarter. Marami pa tayong makikita sa ating second quarter. Earl the Pearl, 4-3. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. Back in the ball game, second quarter na tayo mga kapamilya. JRU Heavy Bombers contra Perpetual Altas. Ano ba nangyari sa ating first quarter, Coach AJ? Kaya lumamang dito ng anim na puntos ang Perpetual Altas. Alam mo, yung offensive struggle na nangyayari dito sa JRU, importante-importante, i-credit mo talaga sa tukunan ng Perpetual. Unang-una, they allowed seven points, no? Para dito kay Tate Tudoro, but in the last five minutes of the first quarter, hindi na nakascore ito si Tate Tudoro. Paolo Pontejo has had one, had a two points, and also Abdel Putucci. So, mukhang yun ang talaga nga hanapin dito ng kupuna ng perpetual. You've got to be able to limit ang output nitong si Tate Tudoro. I-limit nga ang output nitong si Tate Chodoro. In the meantime, punta muna natin ating kasamang si Siege Tanteco. Siege? Yes, naging matulog nga buong season ang pangalan ni Tate Tate Chodoro at ni Paolo Pontejas. Pero alam nyo ba may unsung heroes ng ating JRU Heavy Bombers? Ito si Gio Lasgeti at si Jordan De La Paz. Single out nga sila ni Coach Brehel at sinabing hindi mo ito may kita sa kahit anong stats pero sila ang nagdadala ng team. Ang contributions nga nila, they set the tempo, they pressure Scotty Thompson in this game, kagaya ng sabi mo kanina, Coach Allen, and they contribute to our balanced effort in scoring. Ganitong selfless players nga ang hanap-hanap nitong si Coach Rahel, at kagaya ng sabi sa team shirt nila, hard work, teamwork. Back to you, Boone. Maraming salamat kasamang Siege Tanteco, kagaya ng NCAA broadcasting. Hard work. Teamwork on the floor for the JRU Heavy Bombers. Lasqueti, Sanchez, Conteos, Grospe, Balagtas. Para naman sa panik ng Perpetual Altas, Ilagan, Easy, Dizon, Oliveria, and Sadiwa. That is a nice move coming from Dizon. Rebound, Easy. Napakadali puntos yan. When Easy is down low like that, at nakuha niya ang rebound, at hindi mo binaksa, that is sure two points na. You know, hindi niya kailangan ng atleticism. You know? Napakahaba, napakaganda ng timing, napakagaling sumapal. Itong si Prince Eze, easily can be a starter just like that one to any other team na walang bright akwete. Walang box out, kaya nakakuha na naman ng rebound. Itong si Eze, kailangan. Yan talaga ang trabaho niya, corner three. At that time, too strong nga lang. Kaya naman takbo dito si Lasquette. Binigay kay Grospe. Offensive foul ba? Good defense para dito kay Elaga, no? Sacrificing his body at that time. This strong move of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Too long para sa Perpetual Altas. Copico 78, best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. Nagtaki kaya yung bata na yun, kaya ganun siya nag-enjoy. Hyper, eh, no? Hyper. Pero wag muna, too young, too young. Tayo lang, tayo lang. Tayo lang, yes, of course. Dizon is popping out for the Perpetual. Back to Earl the Pearl. That is short. Rebound, JRU Heavy Bombers. Montejos with a nice spin. Pero, yun, natawagan ng foul. Napagandang spin nun, no? Basang-basa naman niya yung gagawin niya itong si Montejos. Sumapit lang talaga si Dizon. Exactly. Very aggressive move with the part of Paolo Montejos. At doon pa lang sabit na eh. Doon pa lang sabit na. So, Nakikita mo talaga na ayaw nilang uh, makuha ni Paolo Pontejos yung uh, kanyang uh, shooting rhythm here in this ball game And that's exactly what they were able to achieve. Paolo missing his first free throw. Tayo po nasa second quarter. He's coming off the bench. He's got two points. Second free throw is good. Buti nung nasundog si Paolo, hindi nagulang. Usually kasi, di ba, pag nasusundok ka, nagugulang ka. <laughs> Merong nangyayari, eh, no? Oh. Earl the Pearl. Medyo tahimik siya, no? Three points pa lang. Four points pa lang ang natatala niya. Easy. Back to Dizon. Malaki ang kumpiyansa nitong si Coach Arik dito kay Dizon. Pumukol ng tres. Rebound. 
Napakahabang kitang-kita naman natin. Pero at that time, hindi nahulog. Para dito kay Easy, ang tira niyo, Ponteos, binabantayan. He earned the pearl, cross pass. Short. Ika Rose Supnet. Do or die, Animo Rizal, JRU for Final Four. Ayan na nga, Coach AJ. Do or die daw. Go Perpetual Altas. We Perpetualites are always, always there to support Galing, Perpetual, Fuego, Altas. Maraming salamat, uh, Crystal. Coach AJ, let, let us explain. Do or die na daw ba ang labang ito para sa JRU Heavy Box? Well, actually, partner, no, they're still mathematically possible dahil nga meron pang tatlong uh, laro ang ibang kuponan. They can still uh, easily catch up with, with uh, Arellano. They can also catch up with Mapua. Pero kapag meron ng naka-12 wins, yun na magiging problema ng JRU because definitely they cannot achieve the 12 wins here in this, uh, in this season. Maraming salamat, Coach AG. Kaya naman, Copico 78 Best Recharge Movement brought to you by Copico 78. Talagang nakakapito. Copico Best Latte Ever. Grabe, oh, yeah. direct Apet Ramos. Saan mo nakukuha yung mga nauhuli mo na yan? Sa init ng laban, nakikita pa ni Derek mat Abed yan. Matutuwa yung mga advertiser natin. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Derek Abed. Nakikita natin. Ito nga. Master Guapo Shot. Bright Aquati. Pero tahimik siya sa ating ball game na to. Kaya naman si Prince Easy. Ayan. Pang ilang puntos na ba ni Prince Easy yan, partner? Hindi. At saka nagiging ano dito, he's got four points. Pero yung presence niya sa loob, nawawala ngayon yung inside scoring ng ng uh, JRU. Pero meron tayong hinahanap ano? I, I've been I've been trying to look for Abdul Wahab. I don't know if we have if we have a report on Abdul Wahab that's going to be another easy defensive rebound para dito kay Prince Eze. Eze with that rebound, lamang na lamang na dito sa rebounding department a perpetual atas ilagan. Nahanap si Earl the Pearl, sumesenyas ng play. Earl the Pearl, double team, back to Ilaga for a three. Too strong, rebound, JRU Heavy Bombers. Papalik na sa ating ballgame si Tejo Doro. Napakagandang galaw, but not in my house, says Prince Izzy. Get out of here. Yeah, At saka kuha pa ng puntos. Ito mo nga. Perpetual Look that's at one play. thing. That's one thing that you can really do. Nice extra pass. But who was the last line of defense? Please, Izzy. No easy shots inside the paint for the JRU heavy bombers. Pag naan si Prince Izzy. No easy shots. Talaga namang replay after replay. Lamang dito ang Perpetual Altas with a score of 23. Contra JRU 14. Magbabalik po ang NCAA season. 91. This fast play of the game is brought to you by BLDT Home DSL. The number one home brought back at Fist Pampa. Itong si Diso, Coach AG. Oh, no. Iba klase yung uh, kanyang uh, energy. Kapuang energy from, uh, from the last game. But you know, you know what, what sparked that offense and that fast break and this end one play? Para dito kay Dizon, yung supalpal na ginawa ni Princese. Sabi mo nga, namonte ka na partner. <laughs> namonte ka ng Kaya na makalimot. Kaya nag-post ako eh. Ha? Nag-post ako namonte eh. Namonte ka ng makalimot na nasa ere ka. Kala mo nagiinom ka lang ha? Ang ganda eh. <laughs> Ang ganda. Binaseball pat eh. No? <laughs> Ayam sir, babalik-balikan natin yung mamaya. Paano? Nagkaroon ng ganong klaseng supalpal. Ano? Nice defensive stop para dito sa perpetual atas. Kaya naman, balik ang bola sa kanila. Itong si Earl the Pearl, Scotty Thompson. Kumuha pa ng agaw. Coach AG, lamang na dito ang sampu. Ang perpetual. Tayo ay nasa second quarter na. At nangangalahati na tayo. Nice find for Earl the Pearl. Kung make itong si Ilagan, medyo malas sa labas. Lumapit ng konti sa loob. Pero short pa rin ang kanyang tira. Well, that's one thing that he can really do. Ito si Abdel Potucci. Finally! Nakalik out, good seal inside the paint. They hit the primary break. Two points for Abdel Potucci. Yung, kat yung katanungan mo nga, Coach AG, Abdul Wahab Abdul Razak, hindi pa pinapasok sa ball game natin. Kung ano ang nangyari sa kanya, kasi itong si Abdel ay pinahinga ng konti at pinalik siya ulit sa ball game. But the question here, is he here? Yun ang tatanong natin. Mamaya siguro kailangan ma makuha na natin yung report na yan. Ha? 
Panayang subok ni Ilagan sa labas pero wala pa rin. Tete is back in the ball game. At that time, naka-rebound. The sky and eye for the rebound is Ilagan. All alone. Oh! A sorry miss by Prince. Easy pero nahandun si Daganmon. Naalala ko ba yung commercial na yung coach? Sumapit. Yung commercial dati. Sumapit. Oo oh, eh. Kaya. Pero itong si Mark Cruz ay sumagot para sa labas sa panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Kaya naman, nakapuntos sila. 18 kontra 26. Pero lamang pa rin dito ng 8 puntos ng Perpetual Altas. Well, 4-2 run. Huh? Finally, nagkakaroon na ng uh, opensa. Itong kapuna ng JRU. Is it the running game that they need to do here? Tete Teodoro. Parang masyado yata maaga yun. Tatakbo dito ang Perpetual Altas. 3-on-3. Nice escape from Earl the Pearl. Making that shot look very easy. Na hindi gumamit ng kaliwang kamay, eh, no? no? In, out, puro kanan. He's got a total of 7 points. In, out, no? Kanan. Napakaganda. Abdel against easy. Anong gagawin ni Abdel? Short jumper. That is good. That's not easy. That's not easy. Over the outside charms of Prince. Yes, eh. Tingnan natin kung ano nangyayari sa ating hard court. Kaya naman, balikan natin ang ating kasamang si Siege Tanteco. Siege? Yes, po, Coach Lenny. Kung kanina pinag-uusapan niyo, nasan si Abdul Wahab? Tinanong ko yung kanilang coaching staff. Sabi, dalawang araw na si Abdul Wahab na merong dengue. Kasulukuyan siyang ginagamot. Wala siya ngayon. At hindi natin alam kung makabalik pa siya for the remainder of the second round. Ano ko yung epekto nito sa so, Jerry Heavy Bombers? Tingnan natin. Back to you, Bo. Maraming salamat, Siege Tanteco. That's why... Gustong gusto ko itong si Siege. Eh, no? Pag may katanungan ka, Coach AJ, kita mo naman, ginawa niya kagad ang trabaho niya para ma-report sa ating mga kapamilya. No, mamaya, tatanungin ko kung may dalang pera ito. Eh. Baka may kasuhag, baka may kasagutan din ito. <laughs> si Siege at Tenko. Pero ito yata ang dalang kasagutan. Nangunguna, si Earl the Pearl. Ito ang kasagutan para sa perpetual. Earl the Pearl. Scotty Thompson. He's got a total of 9 points. At yun nga ang ginagawa nila. No? Sinisigurado nilang na-involve sa offense itong si Scotty Thompson, ang to moving screen na ata ito. Sino ba? Gawad para dito kay Jordan De La Paz. Pero balikan muna natin ang eksenang ito. Fast play of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Lamang dito, ang perpetual altas. 20 to 30. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 91 dito sa San Juan Arena. Nasa kasagsaga na nga tayo ng ating second round. Siyempre, napakamara napakaraming great plays ang nahita natin. Mamayang halftime, ibibida namin sa inyo ang aking top 10 plays of the week. Panoorin natin yan mamaya. Boom, coach. Aabangan ko yan, Siege Tantenko. Maraming maraming salamat kung ano ang ating top 10. Napakabilis ng ating oras. Tayo ay nasa 2.41 na na ating second quarter. Parang kakaumpisa pa lang natin. Alam mo, Boom, ha? Iniisip ko pa lang kung paano nila pinili yung mga highlight plays. Yung top 10 highlight plays. I, I will really tell you, napakahirap gawin nun. Dahil, you know, hindi naman tayo nagko-cover araw-araw, pero napakadami natin nakikita. In a single game, dito pa lang, apat na nakita kong highlight play. Just like this, Master Guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more Guapo moves. Powered by Master. Sekreto ng mga Guapo. And of course, props sa ating mga researcher. Of course, PBS-CBN. Hihimayin talaga yung magagandang play na yan. Alam mo, iniisip ko na number one play, yung salampak ni Bright Aquemi kay Ola Diogo. Hindi ako sigurado. Na ipalabas na yun, Coach AJ. Ano, palabas na, na last na. week. Yes, na ipalabas na yun. Ito pa ang isa. Strong move of the game. Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Sino tatawagan ng foul? Wearing jersey number 11 is Gallardo. Ito na nga yung sinasabi natin, strong move of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. The number one home, broadband. Nakapuntos na. Itong si Bright Aquedi. Ating talaan, 32 to 20. Abdel Patucci, two strong rebound. Aquedi, tumatakbo ngayon. Itong si Earl the Pearl. Nahan doon. Napakagandang pasa naman. Good find para dito kay Earl the Pearl. That is Gallardo down low. Uh, we're below the two-minute mark. We're in the second quarter. Talking about defensive effort on the part of Perpetual. They have only allowed 20 points. That's going to be traveling almost. Hindi na itawag. 
Laschetti for a short jumper of 22. Nakapuntos dito ng JRU Heavy Bomber. Samantalang ang Perpetual Altas naman ay 34 na. Earl the Bird with the ball. Bright Aquetti. Nice inside pass. Good idea pero strong pass para dito kay Bright Aquetti. In the meantime, Kofiko 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Kofiko 78. Kofiko best latte ever. 22, JRU, 34, Perpetual Altas. Bola ngayon ng JRU Heavy Bombers. A minute and 30 seconds. 15 seconds para sa shot clock ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Tay Chodoro popping out. Pinalik kay De La Paz. Nagbigay ng pick, Abdel Patucci. Basang-basa ni Oliveria. Takbo ngayon ng mga nakamaroon. Bison all alone for the layout. Bison. Not to give up that play anymore, ano? Kasa kanya na yung momentum eh. Naiintindihan ni Earl Scotty Thompson yun. Seven points also for Dizon. Two for one opportunity. Mag-take advantage pa ang kuponan ng JRU dito. Yan ba ay na-realize ni Tay Chodoro. Cross pass, Laschetti. Nice move! Nice shot! Using the glass is Laschetti. JRU 24 na puntos na. Naka 2-4-1 kaya ang JRU sa panig ng uh, nila Coach Verhel Meneses. Tingnan natin kung makakastop sila sa ating ballgame na ito. Wow! That is a nice scoop shot coming from Dizon. Nakakasyap na puntos na siya, Coach AG. Ang tawag doon, saliwa eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> hindi mo alam. Hindi mo alam kung kailan itatapon eh. Pero alam na alam ni Dizon. Tate ito, Chodoro. Final, final seconds. That's going to be a three-point shot for Tate Chodoro. Pinasabit. Itong si Mr. Brightman, Bright Aquetti. And look at Coach Arik Del Rosario, not happy sa eksenang yun. Alam mo, minsan lang tumayo yan si Coach Arik, ha? Well, you can, you, can, you can judge for yourselves. Um, um, ano, eh, he was moving forward. He was moving forward, nakataas ang kanyang kamay, pero dapat hindi na siya nag-move forward. I think that's a good call on the part of the ref. Well, maniniwala ako sa'yo dahil magalik kang coach, Coach AG. <laughs> 1.4 seconds. Would that mean three free throws? That is big for the JRU Heavy Bombers. Dahil oh, kailangan, oh. kailangan nila ng opensa dito. Nabanggit mga kanina. Nung pagkatapos ng seven points nito si Tay Chodoro, parang unti-unting pumupuntos lang dito yung JRU Heavy Bombers. Hirap sila sa opensa. Well, Abdel Putucci will really have to step up in offense partner. Hindi pwedeng uh, yung puntos ni Tay uh, Chodoro. Eze, okay, at saka ni itong si uh, Eze. No? Eh, yun lang ang uh, susundan niya. Kailangan mag-step up pa siya dahil nga wala. Itong si Abdul Wahab. At para naman sa panig ng Perpetual Altas, eh, nahandog si Dizon kahit hindi pa mainit. Itong si Earl the Pearl. 9, no? Well, silently, ang ganda ng nagiging contribution itong si uh, Earl Scotty Thompson. But the nine points again of Dizon, yun ang nakakapuwik dito sa kumpunan ni Coach Ferrell. That is big. Tingnan nga natin yung in and out nitong si Earl the Pearl Scotty Thompson. Napakagandang galaw yan. Kaya naman lamang sila dito. 38 contra 26 para sa panig nila Laschetti of the JRU Heavy Bombers using the glass. Kami po ay magbabalik para sa aming halftime report. Tayo po ay nagbabalik live sa San Juan Arena. Attention, BLDT Home and Smart subscribers. Enjoy entertainment everywhere. With the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Visit iFlix.com and start your complimentary 14-day trial today. Our score! Perpetual Altas, 38 contra JRU Heavy Bombers, 26. Ano nga ba ang nangyari during the first half? Ako, ako po ang inyong lingkod, Boom Labruska, together with my partner, na napaka-guapo. <laughs> Coach A.G., got you, huh? <laughs> Coach, ano ba ang nangyari na ating first half? Well, actually, it was a good start on the part of JRU, but early adjustment on defense para dito sa Perpetual, kung sila nakaalagwa. Napakaraming uh, puntos to start the ball game for Tate Chudoro. Pero after that, the, he only, uh, Perpetual only held him to two points in the second quarter. And this was exactly what happened here. Field goals in the paint for JRU, 4 out of 13, 12 out of 23. Napakaraming puntos 
inside the paint for the Altas. 29 to 18 also for the Altas in rebounding. And of course, itong block shots. Napakaganda ng isang supalpal nitong si Prince Eze. Perimeter points, yun naman ang nagiging kalamangan dito ng JRU. Pero sino ang magbibigay ng inside points para sa kupunan ni Coach Verhel Meneses? Tingnan natin ang panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Ito nga si Tay Chodoro, may score ng 9 points. Samantalang si Potucci with 6 and Lasquete with 4. Well, the first 7 points of uh, of Tete Chudoro in the first 3 minutes of the ball game and after that, puro 2 points na lamang ang uh, na-score. But on the other side, Dizon 9 points, Thompson 9 points, and Gab, the Gamon all had 5 points. You know, Dizon only played for about 14 minutes. So, napakaganda ng um, efficiency rating in offense para dito kay Dizon. Tingnan natin, eto nga, nababanggit mo si Dizon, ah, yung kanyang shot chart. 4 out of 7, 57% para dito kay Dizon. He had 2 three-point shots, pero pareho nagmintis, pero yung kanyang uh, lahat ng puntos were coming of layup and offensive rebounds and putbacks. Hindi natin narinig itong pangalang Dizon, no, Coach DG. Pero latter part na lang itong ating second round na gumagawa itong si Dizon. Masasabi mo bang tinago ito para sa panic ng Perpetual Altas? Well, he was able to prove himself in the last game, boom. Eh. Napaganda nung nilaro niya. Well, he had 18 points. Ang kanyang uh, highest for uh, his career is uh, 11. Pero nung, uh, nung nakarusyan siya ng uh, 18 points, nakita siguro ng coaching staff ng Perpetual. Aba, malak pa lang matutulong na nito ni Dizon. And look at that. It's not all about his offense. Oh, no. no? Nakita mo naman yung look away pass coming from this young man to a wide open shot underneath for Perpetual. Kaya naman, nandito rin siya sa ating ball game ito. De La Verhen, makikita natin sa unang pagkakataon itong second half. De La Paz with the ball. Pinabat na yung maigi ni Oliveria, Abdel Potucci. Inside pass, and that is a nice move. Napakagandang galaw ng Coach AG. Hindi lang maganda, mahirap pa. A good coordination on the part of JRU. High low play. Abdel Putucci making sure. Makita nila yung kanilang mismatch. Pero ito, taking it very strong against Abdel Putucci is Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquetti. Nakita ulit si Grospe. 2 for 2 para dito kay Grospe sa loob. Coach AG. That is a good sign para sa panic ni Coach Verhel Meneses. Transition defense. That is a nice block. Ponteos tumatakbo. Tatlong nakamaroon na hando na. Na walang bahagi. Bahagya ang bola. Na recover ni Potucci. Back to De La Paz. Nagbigay ng pick. Pumihit. Pinalik ulit kay Grospe. 3 for 3 Para dito kay Grospe. And a good start here in the third quarter. Para sa kuponan ng Jose Rizal. Heavy Bombers. Down to 10 points, Grospe, 13 points yan last time out. So alam mo, meron talagang uh, magic punot no? and the special points sa kailangan manggaling dito kay Grospe. Dizon, pupukol sa 3. Too strong, rebound, at tapi ka ng bola. Ponteos and Abdel Patucci, 3 on 2 break. Pupukol ba ng 3? Pumukol nga. Mukhang maganda ang team niya. Mukhang maganda ang team niya niya. I was just about to say, there's going to be a bad shot, but not if it goes in. Two against four. Pero pinukol ni Paolo Pontejos, and it went in. Ito na. Umiinit na ang ating laban. Dahil lumalapit na dito ang panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. At matatawagan pa ng offensive foul. Ito ang mga taga-perpetual altas. Tingnan natin ang eksena ito. This strong move of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. And some early adjustments on the part of the coaching staff of Perpetual Health. Ito ngang si Grospe, master guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more guapo moves. Powered by master, secreto ng mga guapo. De La Verhen with the ball, Pontejos thinking about the three. Pinalik ka dalawa rin. De La Paz, susubok sa labas. That is short. Nag-hesitate pa itong si... Uh, is that Cruz or Grospe? That no, is um, Grospe. That's not the cup of tea para dito kay uh, Jordan De La Paz. He should have taken it strong. Meron siyang open lane to the basket. But first, this power move on the part of Brad Aquetti. 
That fast play of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Right, Aquenti, susubok sa labas. Buti na lang at nahandun yung kanyang kamakpe. Coronel for the recovery and that shot. 42 contra JRU with 35. Seven points na lang yan. Inside pass, natapik. Coronel, lead pass to Thompson. That is too strong para kay Thompson. Two on two break, Pontejos. Nasa kanya ang bola. Nice break. Maganda ang preno nitong si uh, Pontejos nitong uh, coming into the second half. Coach Actually, that's, that's gonna be the second time. Nakita natin yung gano'n. No? Matulin na patulin. Bigla na lamang siyang um, step back. Yung preno na yun, napakabigat nun. That's gonna be a lot of points. Five points actually for the year in the third quarter. Para kay Paulo Montejos. Oliveria put back. Wala yan. Reba rebound nitong si Abdel Potucci. De La Verhen, alam naman natin kung bakit nandyan siya. Montejos susupo ka sa labas. Bakit? At alam mo, sa lapit niya, sa coaching staff ng JRU, pwede na nga siya sa palin eh. Ang layo ng tinira na yun. And that's not gonna be the first time na tinira niya in the span of two minutes. Don't look now, just a four-point lead para sa kuponan ng Perpetual. 11 points na para dito kay Paulo Pontejos. Four-point lead para sa Perpetual Health Altas. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. We are back live. Fast play of the game brought to you by BLDT Home DSL. The number one home Broadband. Tignan naman natin itong Copico 78 Best Recharge Moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's Best Latte Ever. Hindi pa rin makapuntos dito ang mga Perpetual Altas. Second try para sa Perpetual. Tapi ka ng bola, babalik ang bola para sa Perpetual Altas. 14 seconds. Of course, FIBA rules. First possession, that is 24 seconds. Second possession, third possession, or any other possession, 14 seconds talaga yan. Apat na puntos na lang kalamangan dito ng perpetual altas. At pumutok nga itong si Ponteos with a 12-2 run by the JRU Heavy Bombers. Four and a half minutes of action and the 12-2 run talagang ibinalik na ang kupuna ng JRU dito. And one thing against uh, uh, for perpetual, that's a challenge sila ng depensa ng kupuna ng JRU. Paolo Pontejo, this is gonna be a show. It's gonna be a traveling. Hindi. Sidestepping move and that would mean two free throws para dito kay Paolo Pontejo. Sinasagot na ni Paolo Pontejo kung bakit siya nakapulang medyas ngayong araw na ito. Pero bago yan, puntahan muna natin ang ating kasama. Mukhang may report ulit itong si Siege Tanteco. Siege? Yes, kasama ko yun si Roy Sumang. Isang napakagaling na dating college player ngayon na sa pro. Roy, hindi mo naman to liga. Bakit ka nanood ngayon? Nabalitaan ko kasi yung may mga friend ako na teammate ko ngayon. Yung school nila, maglalaro ngayon. So ngayon, maganda daw yung game. Kaya nandito ako para manood. Alam mo, Roy, isa ka sa magagaling na point guards nung panahon mo sa college. Sino sa mga players na yun yung nakikita mo na nakaka-impress sa'yo? Si Scotty Thompson kasi halos every game, triple-double lagi yung ginagawa niya. Tapos ngayon, sobrang galing niya maglaro. Alam mo, pretty soon makakasama na makakalaban mo sa pros itong si Scotty. Abangan natin yan. Maraming salamat, Roy. Thank you for watching. Back to you. Maraming salamat, Siege Lantenco. Hindi nga niya liga ito, pero nandito sila. And that is basketball. Ito na naman. Lamang na ang JRU Heavy Bombers sa unang pagkakataon dito sa ating second half. You know, this is not a joke. This is an 85% shooting. Here in the first six minutes of action here in the third quarter, para sa kuna ng JRU, they were on top by 12, and now they're down. But they were down by 12 points, and they're, they're now on top by two points. Two points. Ano ba ang inaabot sa atin ng ating uh, mga kasama? Paulo Pontejos scoring 14 points, no? Ito na naman siya, pupukol ng tres. At that time, right up 24, the rebound. Umiinit ng ating laban. Pupukol ng tres para sagot ni Paolo Montes. And that is Dizon for you. Four and three. Gerard Dizon. He's really given the goal signal ano, para tumira ng mga three-point shots. He's got a total of 12 points para dito kay Gerard Dizon. Chi, Paolo Montes is on fire. Yes, Chi. 
He is on fire. Tulad ng, ng San Juan Arena na talaga namang nag-ingay. Nitong second half, look at this move. And that strong move of the game is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. In the meantime, Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. Eh, sino ba namang hindi mag enjoy ng ganyan? Exactly, boom. You know that shot. Kung naaalala mo, that is not an original of Paulo Pontejo. That is an original shot of Perhel Meneses. Tinuturuan eh. <laughs> Tinuturuan. <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko lang alam kung nagagawa pa ni Pocian ngayon, ha? Pero yes. alam naman natin, when you search the YouTube and when you search the... the uh, the greatest shots of, of Philippine basketball. Lagi na dyan si Coach Verhel Meneses. He's got 17 points already. Napansin pa natin yun? 14 points nitong second half, Coach AG. 3 points nung first half. He loves playing against Perpetual. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Siguradong sigurado ako, no? Ibang klase ang nagiging uh, energy in offense nitong si Paolo Pontejos. Tuwing nakikita niya ang kubunan ni Earl Scotty Thompson. At tumaas na ang intensity ng defensa dito ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Tagamon, binabantayan ni Pontejo. Cross pass para kay Ilaga. Nandun sila. De, de La Verhen. Much smaller De La Verhen. Pinihitan. Inside pass. That is a block by Pontejo. Tagamon. Hindi pa rin nakapuntos. Shot clock nila. Mauubusan na ba? Naubusan na nga. You've got to credit the defense of the yellow shirts. Everything's challenged. Lahat din dive for the loose ball. Different third quarter we're seeing from the JRU Heavy Bombers boom. Ibang klase yung kanilang intensity. Batiin ko lang, Coach AG, nanonood sa atin ngayon, no? si Ate Camille, saka yung Ate Desko. Tomorrow we'll be here playing you know, with the celebrities. At dito kami ulit. Maglalaro kami ng basketball. Back to the ball game. De La Verhena, popping out is on fire. Paolo Pontejo on fire. Woo! Grabe naman tong third quarter na to. 16 points. And we still have 2 minutes and 45 seconds here in the third. At hindi mo daling tira yung coach AG. Bola na naman. Not JRU Heavy Bombers. 3 against 1. Nice pass. Natapik ng perpetual. Balik ang bola para sa panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. 2 and 32 remaining. Down 12 at the start of the third quarter. Grabe, they're now up by one point. And if you're Coach Verhel Meneses, masayang masaya ka, Coach AG. Well, you've got to be happy with the adjustment that, that's uh, being made by uh, JRU Heavy Bombers. But we're only in the third quarter. The question right here is can they sustain that kind of offensive energy? Paulo Pontejo, sooner or later, he will have to be uh, to contend with with the defense of Perpetual. And that's one one shot. No, na tingin natin. Eh. Dapat, Heat check. Ha? Heat check. Uh, exactly. Oh, Heat good, check. Good, good, Sabi good ni challenge. Team, Coach AG, yung tili daw niya para dito kay Paulo Pontejo, eh umaahabot hanggang kabilang kanto. <laughs> Look at these stats by Paulo Pontejo. 16 points. Para nga sa ating... Uh, Second half, samantalang itong team ng Perpetual and nine points. Ang gusto sabihin ng partner natin, kung si Pontejos, kalaban Perpetual, panalo pa si Pontejos. No? Outscoring the entire squad of, of Perpetual here in the third quarter is Paulo Pontejos. Hindi mahinto ang pagdudugo. Ito nga. Perpetual Alta, stay to Doro Pumihe, too strong. Talagang pag nahan dyan si Prince Easy, magbabago ang tira mo. Jump ball, possession arrow. Balik ang bola para dito sa panic ng perpetual atas. As we see Coach Arik Del Rosario, hindi ko na kailangan i-explain pa kung masaya siya o natutuwa. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure Coach Arik knows what's happening. And uh, he knows the kind of adjustment that they'll have to make in the fourth quarter. Pero hindi pa tapos ang ating third quarter dito. A minute and 52 remaining again single-handedly na outscore nitong si Paulo Pontejos ang buong koponan ng perpetual. Kaya naman pinagpahinga muna siya ni Coach Verhel Meneses. Balik sa ating ball game si Lasketi Coronel with the ball. Tagamon, titira ba ng tres? Magandang pasa yan. Pero hindi pa rin na-shoot nitong si Earl the first cut ni Thompson. Tapi ka ng bola, nakatapak daw nitong si Oliveria. 
It's not double teaming effort for JRU. Every time they're inside the paint, talking about perpetual, it's a triple teaming na ginagawa. They cannot defend sa taas eh. So, ginagawa nila, doon yung defense nila sa ilalim. At doon nagbabago ang decision making ng uh, perpetual dito sa third quarter. Boom. Balik sa ating ball game si Dizon dahil maganda ang kanyang nilaro. Kung kakabukas nyo lang ng TV, mga kapamilya, kaninang first up, lamang po ang perpetual atas. Look at Tate Jodoro. Whoa! That is a wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move. That is a no-no. I don't know if that shot was going in, but it was straight. It might have been short, pero hindi pwedeng galawin ni Prince Eze. Yung tira na yun. Toughest. Very, very tough shot. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that decision right there of Prince Eze. It's a gimme for Tay Chodoro. Dahil hindi natin alam kung papasok yung tira yun. Kaya naman lamang dito, JRUME Bombers 51 contra 49. Pero sa mabot, si Earl the Pearl para Bagya nga, pahintuin ang kanilang pagdudugo sa ating uh, third quarter. Look at this play. Strong move para kay Earl the Pearl, Scotty Thompson. And one play pa yan. Kaya naman, titira siya ng free throw. Well, that's just going to be the 11th point, no? Para dito sa perpetual. Threading the needle that time, Earl Scotty Thompson. At ito nga, para sa University of Perpetual Health Delta System, nanunood, no? And we'd like to say hi, Dr. Brigadier General Tony Tamayo, CEO and Chairman of the Board. And of course, Dr. Daisy Tamayo, uh, Chair and Co-Founder of UPHTS. Maraming salamat, Sir and Madam, sa inyong pagtutok. Abdel Patucci, nice pass. Points inside the paint. Si Patucci lang talaga ang pwedeng magbigay niyan. And what they're doing here, siniset up nila yung big man, ano? At nagkakaroon ng balance in offense. Ang kupuna ng JRU, not just that. Look at the defense. But who will stop? Prince Eze every time he's inside the pit. Yan yung nawala eh. Nung early part ng ating third quarter, ito si Prince Eze. But now, he's back in the ball game. Kaya naman, tina mo, isa na lang ang lamang dito ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Tay Chodoro, binabantay ni Coronel. Nakawala, binalik ni Abdel. Like what you said, si Abdel Patucci lang ang makakagawa niya. And it was a brilliant. Brilliant idea on the part of Tate Tudoro. Dinala niya sa kanya itong si Prince Eze. Knowing perfectly well na mag na bababa ang depensa nitong si Prince Eze. And wide open was uh, Abdel Putucci. Time winding down para sa panic ni Earl the Pearl. Tangan pa rin ang bola. Lasketi binabate. Double team. 4-3. That is short. Nice defense no para sa panic. JRU Heavy Bombers. And what a third quarter offensive onslaught on the part of the JRU Heavy Bombers. Triggered by this guy right here, scored 17 big points in the third quarter alone, and that's Paulo Pontejos. Pero sumagot ng bahagya itong si Coronela. At nakikita natin si Tate Chodoro na napakagandang pasa para kay Abdel Patucci. Lamang dito ang JRU 55. Contra Perpetual 52 at magbabalik po tayo para sa ating fourth and final quarter. Back in the ball game, fourth and final quarter. Laban ng JRU Heavy Bombers contra Perpetual Altas. Batiin ko lang, Coach AG, Professor Mark Gregorio and Tita Lucy. Akalain mo ako ang tinex na ni ikaw, ha? <laughs> Maraming salamat, partner Boom. You know, Basketball fans talaga ang aking mga magulang. Lahat ng klaseng basketball pinapanood nila. And today, in, in uh, today's uh, basketball game, alam ko talaga mag enjoy yan sila. Lalong lalo na, gantong walang, uh, walang pasok. Maraming nanonood sa atin. Jom Yamut, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Si Richard nanonood din. Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. I'm sure maraming nakatutok sa ating ball game na ito dahil sabi mo nga, Coach AG, it's a holiday. Tingnan natin ang remaining game for the JRU Heavy Bombers. Kaya nga sinasabi natin, mathematically, pwede pa pumasok ang Jose Rizal University. Even if they lose this ball game. Pero alam naman natin, no? they do not want to lose this ball game against LPU. Meron pa silang laban at saka meron pa silang kalaban ng San Sebastian. Lamang dito ang JRU Heavy Bombers with a score of 55 contra Perpetual. Scotty Thompson, gagawin bang 54? No call para sa ating rep. Tapi ka ng bola. Nahandu si Coronel for the rebound. Shot clock down to 10. Dizon with the ball. Pumaposti si Tagalmo. Hindi, bina, hindi binigay ang bola. Na 
napakagandang lusot sana para kay Dizon. Bright Aquedi for the rebound. Coronel, umikot. Wala pa rin. Dagamon. Nakakuha ng foul dito kay Abdel Patucci. Siya ba ang tatawagan ng foul? That is his third personal foul. And that's gonna be a big call in the part of JRU knowing na si Abdel Patucci na lamang, no? Ang nalalabing malaking sa big man para sa Jose Rizal. Pero alam mo, ang pinaka dapat natin pag-usapan dito. Well, ito, perpetual will be up against uh, San Sebastian and then against Letran. So, dalawa pa rin ang uh, laban nitong kuponan ng perpetual. At kung titignan mo, Coach AG, parehas na parehas na araw yung kanilang paglalaruan. And that is September 29 and so, October 2. So, yun na naman. May hirapan na naman tayo sa parking. Yes. Ha? So, ngayon pa lang, kailangan alam na natin na tatlong oras pa lamang bago maglaro, nandito na tayo. So, mga kapamilya, that is uh, four days from now, September 29. Maglalaro ulit ang dalawang kapunan. Look at this crowd. Jampak first game, Jampak second game. De La Berhen, napakagandang ikot against Dizon. Naiwanan ng bahagya, kaya naman nakalusot. At tatawagan ng foul, etong si Dizon. Shooting two free throws is De La Berhen. Look at this move. Well, we've got a ball game. Serizal University, all of a sudden, up by one point for any reason or another na nagpalit ka ng channel. Tapos pinalikan ko, lamang na ang kuponan ng JRU. E tingnan mo kung ilang puntos ang ginawa nitong si Paolo Pontejos. Isa lang ang sasabihin mo. Ha? Huh? <laughs> In the meantime, balikan muna natin. Ganun? Di mo meron ganun? Meron ganun. In the meantime, balikan muna natin natin kasamang si Siege Tantenko. Siege? Yes, go manageable naman daw ang lead ng Jerio Contra sa Angles. Kaya ang top priority ni Coach Eric at Coach Lester, the eight options for scoring. May kita natin si Bright nakapost din sa loob. Si Dizo nasa perimeter at si Coronel binigyan ng go signal para mag-drive. Si Scotty naman ang nag-hype sa kanyang teammate. Sabi niya, ilan lang naman yung lamang na yan. Kaya-kaya natin yan. Back to you, Boom. Maraming salamat, Siege Tanteco. Kung tinatanong mo kung ilan ang lamang, that is two points for the JRU Heavy Bombers. Alam mo, Boom, isa pang nakuha natin dito mula kay kasamang Pong Ducanes. Noong uh, dalawang quarter, noong first half, 26 points lang ang nice score ng JRU. But in the third quarter alone, of course, with the offensive onslaught that was, that was shown by Paulo Pontejos, they scored 29 points in the third quarter alone. But this guy has really stepped up in offense. This is Gerard Dizon. Bumalik na naman ang kalamangan dito sa kapunan ni Coach Alec. I was about to say that Coach AG as well, this guy Dizon. 2-4-2 two 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 para sa 3-point line. Ito si Dizon. That is a nice shot at hindi madali ang tira na yun, no? Dahil kanina pa naglalaro to, I'm sure. Titignan natin yung patik factor pagdating ng uh, latter part of our fourth quarter dahil kanina pa naglalaro itong si Dizon. Alam mo, kasama ko si Anton when we covered uh, their last game of Perpetual. At na-interview nga namin, no? Ito si Gerard Dizon. After the interview, sabi namin ni, ni Anton, Oy, magpasisig ka naman. <laughs> Taga Pampanga pala, itong si Gerard Dizon. I wonder kung kamag-anak niya yung mga farm, no? Katulad Dizon. ng kanyang uh, apelido, di ba? Scotty Thompson, uh, nakawala. Pinasa kay Bright. Finally, getting involved with the offense. Bright, Aquetti, 8 points pa lamang. Pero importante-importante kung kailan siya nakascore. Balik ka kalamangan sa kapunan ng perpetual. Kaya naman binalik ni Coach Verhel, itong si Paolo Ponteos, Abdel Patucci, kanina pa niya ginagawa yan. Pero wala, mintes sa pagkakataon yun. Earl the Pearl, that is a nice move from her. Rebound, Patucci. De La Paz, Ponteos with the ball. Pinabantayan ni Dizon. Ano ang gagawin ni De La Paz? Titira ng tres si Ponteos. Earl the Pearl for the rebound. Ba? Tingnan natin yung stats nitong si Earl the Pearl. Nakakailang rebound na ba yan? Siyam na rebound na raw, Coach AG. Yun that nga lang. will be a turnover. Pinasa niya sa kanyang coach. Tingnan muna natin yung strong move of the game brought to you by BLDT Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Bright Aquete. We have a timeout on the floor. Lamang na po dito ng tatlo. Ang perpetual altas with a score of 59 contra JRU 56. Magbabalik po ang NCAA season.
91. Back in the ball game. Smile. Your own cam. Maraming salamat. Derek Abet Ramos. Despite of a good ball game and nagkakaroon pa ng pagkakataon na kumuha na mga magagandang inig. Then, ngayon nga lang nakita, smile, you're on cam. Pero yung mga tao parang ninenervyos sa mangyayari dito. Now with the fourth quarter, struggle in offense. Parang man sa JRU, they're 0-5. Two out of eight naman for a miss of 25%. Para dito sa kumpunan ng Perpetual. Major Richard M. Tamayo, President, University of Perpetual Health Medical Center. Mr. Anthony M. Tamayo, President, University of Perpetual Health System. Tata, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. I'm sure natuwa sila ulit dahil lamang na ang kanilang uh, opponent dito with 3 points. 5.46, natitira sa ating fourth and final quarter. At para sa ating triple-double watch, ano? Dito para kay Earl Scotty Thompson. He's got a total of 12 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. With only 5 and 33 remaining. And with 3, turn over. Para lang dito kay Earl the Pearl Scotty Thompson. Copico 78, best recharge moment. Brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. At lo palang, despite of the good defense of the JRU Heavy Bombers, ito si Earl the Pearl. At lo palang yung kanyang turnover. And that is good. Lalo na, no? Siya yung umaatake, siya yes. yung uh, umagawa ng napakaraming bagay para sa tupunan ng, ng uh, perpetual. 5 and 30 remaining. So ngayong nawala na yung, uh, yung uh, offense ng JRU. They have now to depend on their uh, defense. Wide open look. Pero itong si Tison, eh, medyo namintisan niya yung uh, corner shot na yun. At nangingisa yung butiki. <laughs> why why pa naman? Di ba yun yun? yun Abdel Patucci, nakakita ng kuwang. Pero hindi pumasok. Delapas. Back to Grospe. Ginamit ang board. Back to Grospe. Mukhang tatawagan pa ng foul. Itong si Coronel. It's a blessing in disguise on the part of JRU. Look at Coach Verhel. Not happy with Abdel Patucci. Nakashoot na. Hindi pa masaya. Coach AG. Master, guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more guapo moves. Powered by Master. Secreto ng mga guapo. Ewan ko lang kung papasok si Coach Berel sa screen natin. Ayun, hindi na nakita. Hindi siya masaya, Coach AG. Ang nakikita ko dito, medyo na pressure no? Itong si uh, Bright Aquetti. He's got to be able to maintain the kind of composure that has uh, given them a lot of wins and trust his teammates. Say to Doro for three. Too strong, Abdel Patucci. Tinatapik-tapik na lang niya yung bola niya, no? Kasi nahihirapan siyang rumibound, eh, Coach AG. Dizon with the ball. 17 on their clock. Play action para sa Perpetual Altas. Bright Aquenti, high pick. Dizon, nakita ang kanyang kakape. Back to Aquenti, one-on-one against Abdel. For the rebound is Aquenti. Natawagan ng foul, itong si Abdel Patucci, and that is fourth personal foul. Copico 78, best recharge moment. Brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. Nakalimutan ni Abdel na i-box out itong si Brian Aquetti. Well, napakahirap talaga ng ginawa na yun because that was part of the play. That was a high-low play specifically to really attack the defense of Abdel Patucci. Pero ito nga, no, ang tanong dito, ilalabas mo ba itong si Abdel Butucci with still 4 minutes and 23 seconds knowing that he's got 4 fouls? He can no longer defend because he can't be out of this ball game. Brian Aquetti hitting the second free throw. At ito nga, no, tinitignan ko ang uh, coaching staff ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Do they know that Abdel Butucci already has 4 fouls? It is gamble time para kay Coach Verhel Menezes dahil hindi niya nilabas si Abdel Patucci. Nilabas, binabantayan ni Scotty Thompson. Basa yan. Basang-basa ang pasang. Ito yung tinatawag na pasang malap niya, eh, no, Coach AG? Well, pag ganito talaga, no, yung uh, dulo, nakikita nila yung score. No, kahit na sinong uh, manlalaro, eh. Nagkakaroon ng, uh, ayan na, hindi, walang lamya yun, yung opensa na yun, ni Abdel Butucci. 
and credit that pocket pass para dito kay Teixeira That to Del Patucci. Not forcing the issue. He has been doing that actually from the third and the fourth quarter. Hindi involved siya talaga sa offense ito si Abdel Patucci. Dagangon sa sagot ng tres inalog Abdel Patucci. Kaya hindi nila bas ni Coach Perel yan. Nahanjan siya. I'm sure kailangan niya magingat at alam niya na apat na ang kanyang personal. Teixeira mingi ng pick kay Abdel. At tuman game ba magyare? Teixeira decides to take that pull up jumper. That is short rebound. Earl lead pass. Bright Aquetti. Hindi na hawakan ng bola. Was a little too excited. Naki yan ang merong mismatch. It was only Tate Teixeira who was the last line of defense. Pero bago pa niya maayangat, tumama sa kanyang paa ang bola. And that strong move of the game is brought to you by DLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Abdel Patucci, inside pass to Grospe. Walang magagawa si Dagangon pag naisil talaga ng ganun yung opensa eh, no, Coach AJ? You know, that's something that uh, JRU has been doing, ha? Itong si Grospe, hindi mo napapansin. Pero kapag nag-spread out na yung kanilang offense, look who's there inside the paint, binibigyan nila ng high-low play. Itong si Grospe. Saka maganda siya mag-seal, Coach AJ. Talagang hindi maagawan ng bola. Kaya naman palitan ng tao muna. Ito si Oliveria, pinasok. Boom, you have to remember, the last time out these two teams played, nag-overtime. And with exactly three minutes to go in this ball game, ito na ang Oh! Ito na nga, si Grospe. Sa pangalawang pagkakataon kanina, ginawa din niya yan eh. Sa pangalawang pagkakataon. And with that shot, binigyan niya ng kalamangan ulit itong JRU Heavy Bombers. And from one deadlock to a lead change, itong JRU Heavy Bombers now on top, 62-60. That's not a good shot by Dizon. Offensive rebound. Nagahanap ng foul itong si Bright Aquetti. At hindi siya bumababa. Tingnan natin kung na-realize yan ni Tay Tudoro. Ayun na, bumaba na si Bright. Tay, Domiscarte. Scoop layup, wala yan. Humingi ng bola itong si Earl. Transition defense para dito kay De La Paz. Tatawagan pa ng traveling. Good call. Yun naman That nangyari. is a good call. Not fouling was JRU. Transition defense was there. They're making sure that there's no easy point on the part of Earl Scotty Thompson. Ayan ang tira ni Abdel Patucci. Nakikita natin yung putback nitong si Grospe. With that putback, binigyan niya ng kalamangan itong JRU Heavy Bombers with a score of 62-60. to Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91, fourth and final quarter. Back in the ball game, live sa San Juan Arena, brought to you by ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Nakikita natin. Si Coach Virgil Meneses, Paolo Pontejos, and the mga estudyante ng Perpetual Altas, 2-16. Ang natitara sa ating fourth and final quarter, si Grospe ay nagkakaroon ng magandang laro dito sa ating second half. Pero importante dito, no? malaman ulit ng ating mga nanonood, no? ng ating mga taga-pamilya, that JRU is 9 wins and 6 losses. Natalo ang mapuha kanina, they're 10 wins and 6 losses. May laban ang Arellano mamaya. Kalaban One, ang Letran. Two, so ang importante dito, sino ba sa kanila ang mag end up with 12 wins? At ang nagkakatukan nga dito, ang nagbabox out na nga easily is JRU, Mapua, and Arellano. Not only that, makakalaban din ng Perpetual Altas. Itong Letra Knight sa kanilang susunod na laro. Pagkatapos nito, Coach AG. Mabigat ang mga hinaharap ng ating mga kukunan. Dizon with the ball. Popping out is Earl the Pearl. 10 seconds para sa shot clock. Double team, nakalusot. Driving strong, walang tawag. Rebound, kanina mapupunta ang bola. Tignan na daw natin ang ating monitor dahil hindi igagawad ng referee yan. And you know, a very excited uh, spectator. I don't know if you can, uh, we can see him. That's a uh, team manager of San Beda, si Coach Jude Roque, ang ating kaibigan. Dahil nga sa kanilang pagkapanalo kanina, they're hoping that Perpetual will lose this ball game para makaangat na itong uh, koponan na naman ng San Beda after today's festivities. Kagulo Friday. Atid sa inyo ng NCAA Season 91. Maraming maraming salamat mga kapamilya sa inyong pagtutok. Kanino ba mapupunta ang bola na yan, Coach AG? Tignan natin, ah, ang mga eksena dito, hindi masaya. 
ang mga estudyante ng perpetual atas pero pag nakikita nila ang kanilang uh, mga mukha sa screens ay talaga naman tuwan-tuwa. Samantala, ang mga estudyante ng JRU Heavy Bombers naman ay panayang sayaw dahil lamang sila dito ng two points. Alam naman natin, ano, talagang uh, napakahirap ng kanilang pinagdaanan ng first half. Only scoring 26 points. But in the third quarter, again, they scored 29, 17 of which comes or came from Paulo Pontejos. The out of 16, fourth quarter field goal. Para sa JR, the Bombers, samantala, perpetual atas naman, two out of 14. And this is big. Dahil ball possession mapupunta para sa panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers with 138 remaining sa ating fourth and final quarter. And you know, boom, we talked about the scoring, no? Anong uh, start of this ball game. And what we said was, you know, defense will play a lot uh, de, uh, kung ano magiging uh, result nitong laro na to. And as, as of this point, napakababa niyan at talagang uh, para sa advantage yan ng uh, JRU Heavy Bombers. Good idea para dito kay Paulo Ponteos. Yun nga lang, at that time, yung spacing nila, kaya sila nagkabanggaan, e eh, medyo sumikip. At tignan natin, ano ang tatawag ulit ng referee? Look at this play. Ayun. Napakahirap, ano? Yes. Look at the defense of Perpetual. All maroon shirts inside the paint, ensuring na walang makakakuha ng uh, easy points. Lalong-lalo na itong si Abdel Potucci. Sumisikip nga ang depensa ng dalawang kapunan. Pero nauubusan na rin ang oras dahil meron na lang tayong 1-20. Sino ba ang huling nakatapik ng bola? Parang si Earl the Pearl? Or may tumapik ba sa likuran ni Earl? Kasi yung direksyon, ano? Napagpunta ni Earl. No? Yes. Doon pumunta yung bola eh. And, uh, so, ano ang tawag? Ano ang tawag? Tama nga ang ating haka-haka dahil 6 seconds na lang daw ang matitira sa shot clock para sa panig ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Kaya naman, ball possession, JRU Heavy Bombers. This possession is very big para sa JRU, Coach AG. Just a one possession ball game on the part of JRU. And just one uh, open shot here. That is a Ayana nice play. It was Patucci ready to receive that yes. ball. Nice play para dito kay Coach Verhel Meneses. At yun nga lang, hindi nagsag itong si Abdel Patucci. Well, he wasn't ready to receive that ball in the first place, but never mind. They're on top by two points. They just have to focus on making a stop here in this play. Tingnan natin kung anong gagawin ni Bright Aquetti na binabantayan ni Patucci. Back to Thompson. Game time para kay Thompson. Anong gagawin ni Thompson? Inside pass. Tapping ka ng bola. Presence of mind para dito kay Thompson, pero aabot ba ang shot clock? Hindi tumama sa ring eh. Wala daw. So if it's gonna be zero at nakita nga ng mga ref, no, na nung nahawakan ni Bright Aquetti yung bola, there was no more time left. Alam mo, Coach AG, may napansin lang ako sa huling eksena na yun. Ha? Tingnan natin ha, kung uh, magkakaroon tayo ng replay. Is it Dizon? Dizon could have taken the shot eh. Pero decided to pass to Earl the Pearl. Tingnan well, natin. Respeto na lang yun, ano? On uh, who's gonna take the last shot. But if you're, you're going to take the last shot. But you're hot. He's hot. Yes, He's got 15 but points. But if you're playing, you know, like this game na ang ganda ng nilalaro mo, you can take yeah, the shot. The Tingnan natin. Kung uh, magkakaroon tayo ng replay, tumatawag na itong si Coach Verhel Meneses. Wala. Shot clock no violation. Pan, no pan, no. Yes, shot clock violation. Bola ng JRU, 17. Sa kanilang oras, Paolo Ponteos with a nice pass. Abdel Patucci, pinalikit na lapas. Pinalikit, take take for three. Inalok. Kanino mapapunta ang bola? Tapi ka ng bola. Napunta kay Tay Chudoro. Ball possession ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Teka lang daw. 10 seconds na lang, Coach AG. Shot clock ng JRU, Tay Chudoro. Ano ba ang gagawin dito against Bright Aquedi? Napakalayong tres. Kanino mapapunta ang bola? Tapi ka ng bola. Mukhang uh, dalawang maroon shirts ang nahandon, Coach, Coach AG. At ako ay napatayo at naiwanan kita, <laughs> partner. Nandiyan ka lang, hindi ka naman lumalayo. Yes, uh, 19 seconds remaining. Tignan Two natin. very long shots on the part of Tay Tay Teodoro. Mukhang uh, sa, sa vantage sa, point natin, yes, no? Uh, that, that was Dizon, hey, Coach AG. Hey, hey, hey. Kaya naman, balik ang bola ka. Sa JRU Heavy Bombers, tuwang-tuwa ang mga nakadilaw. And 
That is 19 seconds na lang sa ating fourth and final quarter. Coach AG, lamang dito ang JRU. Now, Perpetual, Perpetual is calling a timeout. They will have to figure out on how they will be able to get this leather. Is it gonna be a trap? Let's listen in. Tingnan natin kung pwede tayo makinig sa kupunan ng JRU Heavy Bomber. Hey, gumawa na kayo na para no matter what happened. decision making nila one good play and they're gonna win this ball game pero importante importante for perpetual they have to figure out a way para makascore sila in the final six seconds are they gonna make a stop are they gonna make a foul are they gonna send JRU to the line and hope that JRU heavy bombers will miss the free throw fouls to give itong uh, perpetual cannot foul coach AG dahil nga nasa penalty na Eto perpetual samantala fouls to give para sa JRU Heavy Bombers meron pang isa meron pang dalawang timeout dito at JRU all important possession for both teams somebody wants to make a shot somebody wants to make a steal 19 seconds remaining fourth quarter binalik ay dalapas pasahan ng bola binalik ay Potucci walang mga foul para sa panic ng Perpetual Altas. Ito na kay Crosby. Dalabas, titira ng tres. Rebound, mapupunta kay Earl the Bird. Tuloy-tuloy. Pero They're not taking foul. penalty. That yes. is a good foul. That is a very intelligent foul on the part of Jordan Dalabas. And definitely, that will just be a sideline inbound on the part of Perpetual. Ano ang nangyari sa eksena niyon para sa panic ng Perpetual Altas, Coach AG? Well, they, they wanted to make a fast break, ano? pero yung extra dribble na ginawa nitong si Earl Scotty Thompson, napalapit siya dito kay Jordan de La Paz. Napakalayo nito. Do they still have a timeout, Perpetual? Yes, one timeout, Coach AG, para sa Perpetual Altas. I don't Altas. think there is a timeout left for Perpetual, 0.5 of a second. Official time is 1.1 seconds. 1.1 daw ang igagawad ng ating mga opisyal. Meron pa silang timeout. Coach AG, eto na, binur na nila yung kanilang ha. last timeout. Kaya naman, dapat painggan natin ang panic dito ng Perpetual Altas. Tingnan natin. Scott, you have to get involved. Scott, you have to get involved, Scott. This one. Okay. Right. Kevin,
left them here in this ball game and end up with 10 wins and six losses with still two games left in their calendar. JRU Heavy Bombers. The journey continues para sa panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Come from behind win para dito sa mga bombero. 62 to 60. Grabe ang ginawa nitong si Paolo Pontejo sa ating second half. Tete Chidoro naman para sa ating first half. Talagang tulong-tulong dito ang panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Kaya naman puntahan natin ang ating kasamang si Siege Tantengo. Siege, sino ba Coach AG? Well, he may not have scored in the fourth quarter but definitely nakabalik ang koponan ng JRU because of the scoring that was done by Paolo Pontejos. None other than Paolo Pontejos. Scoring big time para sa panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Ito nga, binibigyan na tayo ng ating uh, stats. Ano ba ang nangyari dito, Coach AG? Well, yung 29 points no, na na-score nila nung uh, third quarter, babalik-balikan natin yan. Even JRU would want to see that again. Paano silang nabuhay? They played good defense and somebody really stepped up. And again, kanina, sasabihin natin ulit, no? Paolo Pontejos really deserves to be the best player of this ballgame. And of course, ha, puntahan natin ang ating kasamang si Siege Tantenko. Siege? Yes, kasama ko si Paolo Pontejos. Paolo, ikaw at si Tete yung matunog. Pero sabi ni Coach Rahel, napakahalaga ng mga intangible players niyo. Paano ba kayo nagtutulungan sa court? Um, siguro, first thing, ano, um, execute talaga kami on offense. Then, defense talaga. Siguro, defense talaga nagpapanalo sa amin. Pao, napakaraming JRU fans ang nandito para supportan ka. Ang dami yung Pontejos banners. Ano yung mensahe mo para sa kanila? Buhay pa ang Final Four dreams nyo? Huwag uh, kayong mag-asawa ang sumuporta sa lahat ng JR, JRU community. Um, salamat, salamat sa pag-suporta nyo sa amin. Maraming salamat din para sa yung napakagandang game. Congratulations, Paolo. Back to you, Boom. Maraming salamat, uh, Siege Tantengo. And of course, congratulations sa community ng JRU Heavy Bombers. First game, nanalo ang San Beda. Second game, nanalo naman ng JRU Heavy Bombers. And the journey continues para sa season ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Coach AG, what are your thoughts? Ito nga, JRU Heavy Bombers next game nila, September 29 against the LPU Pirates, October 2 against the San Sebastian Stags. Well, I'm sure JRU will not even uh, talk about those teams yet, no? If you figure out nila where they went right, what were the decisions that they made here in this ball game? Number one, they only allowed 60 points perpetual, something that is quite impossible to do with Earl Scotty Thompson, Bright Aquete, you've got Prince Eze, pero dito sa laro na to, yung imposible nagawa ng Jose Rizal University. Come from behind win niya para sa panic ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Maraming salamat sa aming director na si Derek Abet Ramos. Pero mga kapamilya, third and final game, our number one team, the Letra Knights, going up against the Aureliano Chiefs. It is the bus driver versus the Ant-Man. Para sa aking partner, Coach AG, maraming salamat. Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, Pilipinas. Ako pong inyong lingkod, Boom Labrusca. Siege Tantengo.